I got to talk Jay-Z, okay, this record with D'Angelo. I don't even, I can't even believe that the, y'all are both on the same record at the same time. But talk to me a little bit about how this record came together. James, I want to hear your perspective on this too, because you're blessing us with this whole, on this whole project. But talk to me about this, how this D'Angelo and Jay record came together. James, you want to speak to that? I think you should speak to that. Yeah, yeah. You know, <clears throat> what it is is, I believe, like, when you're, I, the Book of Clarence is magic, right? It's magic, Gia. It's magic. It's it's um, it's politically incorrect for a director to say, "Okay, the movie I've made is I made." Mean, someone's politically incorrect or or not seen as right. But the Book of Clarence, sonically, visually, it's just magic. It's like explain FaceTime to me before FaceTime was invented. It's just magic. Just because something's given a title, it doesn't mean it's it's not magic. And when you're making magic. Magic just happens. And the only way I can say that song came about, as I was making it, remember, like, Jay and I are speaking every single day. Now, people would think, like, like Jay-Z is the only, maybe the only other person I've ever met. Uh, but one of the only other people I've ever met that's a floor to the ceiling, creative. So Jay is always creating. He's always writing. But we're always speaking. So as we're speaking, Jay will be creating, and I'll be creating. So as I, I happen to be in the studio making a bunch of songs and this and that and the other, and then Jay will be doing what he's doing on his end, and next minute we have this song, right? I want you forever. This, this song, and then D'Angelo comes into the fray, and then he... All I can say is it was magic, Gia. It's magic. Like D'Angelo's back. And Jay and Jay, who's who's with me all the time when I'm when I'm um in love with Jay all the time and he's writing. We're always talking. We're always cooking. So if someone comes into our if someone comes into our fray, we always have something for them. I could speak and I'll just be talking in circles and I'll be getting back to the word magic. I'll I'll constantly get be getting back to the word magic, magic, and it was just it was just magic. The, yeah, because you know, uh, again, someone like D'Angelo, he moves he moves in his own speed and in his own time. So there's no planning there, right? Mm. You know that that that's, that's you can't plan that. You can't say, okay, I got this song, come over Tuesday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just it just has to happen like that. The the the, the circumstances the, the the vibes the music everything has to be in a perfect space mm. um for something like this to happen uh, obviously we haven't you know collaborated for our entire career so right. it just it was meant for this moment right here and that scene that scene is you know is meant for this song it's not mm. like a on its own it, you know it's it's a beautiful song and you know i can see you know, me just driving somewhere, you know, hours just playing the song, you know, straight. But in that scene, it's just, it's tailor-made for that scene. And another thing, again, another thing about James is, you know, he's creating the whole time. As he's uh, writing, you know, he's writing with music in mind. Uh, he's very fluent in film and, and you know, the audio arts, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, so, again, magic. Magic, man. Like, yeah, you know what I mean, Gia. You can't plan for. I can't go into the studio and go, oh, and this song's for Jay Z and D'Angelo. That would <laughs> never happen. Jay would tell me to kick rocks. D'Angelo would tell me to <laughs> kick pebbles. Somewhere down the street, you just see me lonely on a lonely road <laughs> kicking rocks and pebbles. Like, you just have to. You just have to listen to the elements, man, and just wait for magic to happen. That's amazing. Um, I, I mean, D'Angelo is is so deeply talented and all, all, really all the people that you got on this record are um i jay are you a neo soul fan say it again are you a neo soul fan no i'm a, I'm a music fan i'm not a, i'm not a fan that I, i've listened to everything like yeah you know my my uh you know i listen to everything i don't even know how to it, it, say it beyond that um yeah yeah 
No, I love that because I always love the soul singers, the soul records. And honestly, music is genreless if we really get to it. But we don't got time to get to that conversation, I think. <laughs> I think I want to talk a little bit more about the soundtrack. The, the title record, the first record you released was with Wayne and Buju and Shaba. Getting them on one record is absolutely insane. So you talk to me about that process, James. Well, yeah. who when you I know you thought of Lakeith first for Clarence. When you thought mm. of the soundtrack, was Wayne one of the first people you thought of? Is that yeah. how did that soundtrack come together? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, the song as I'm as I'm composing the as I'm writing the script, I'm composing the score. So I compose a score. I always think composers come onto the film too late. So I compose a score as I'm writing the script. And as I'm composing the score, I'm writing the songs, right? I start writing the songs. So the songs speak to the score, which speak to the... It's just one um, speaking to the other. They all go um, hand in hand. And when you first see Jesus in the film, as per Jay-Z's constant notes, while I was... Um, conceive with this film, like, yeah, yeah, but we don't see his face yet. We don't see his face. And Jay will give me like these other instances of where there'll be a particular character in a particular TV show and a specific, you just don't see the person, James. And I'll go back and watch the show. Like, mm. So we don't see Jesus' face. He's obscured by the by the sun, right? See, Jay, how I took all those notes? Anywhere. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, anyway, right? <laughs> so, so his, his, um, his face is obscured by the sun. And you hear, and you hear, hallelujah, heaven say hallelujah. La 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 And I would be recording as I'm writing the script and just layering my vocals, layering my vocals. And then I have the track ready. And I was like, on this particular track, the fact that you see Jesus himself walk through the town to this song, I need literal titans on this um, on this um, song that we introduce them and titans of their genre, right? I was like, I want Wheezy, Buju, Shabba. Mm. Now, I haven't spoken to Shabba, I hadn't met Shabba, I hadn't spoken to him, I hadn't ever, and, and next minute, you know, I only FaceTime, we were on a FaceTime together. And I was telling him the kind of flow I wanted, and he really took to the film, took to the song, and next minute was Buju, and last was. I feel, um, I feel so, like I, I feel like I feel like a Buju was a was a a, a Jigger Man uh, alley oop. That was a Jigger Man alley oop. <laughs> okay, um, firstly, right, okay, 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 for the record, don't don't, the record. don't leave me out of that. Don't leave me out of that. <laughs> what's this? <laughs> uh, what's this? For the record, for the record, watch. And and Jay was like, I, I hear Buju on this, right? I had Buju on this. And that evening, incidentally, like that evening, Tai Tai came to my house. And and everyone who knows Jay knows Tai Tai. And Tai Tai was sitting down in my kitchen and he was, he took a call. And Buju had called him from Jamaica. I said, I want Buju. Introduce me to Buju T. And Shari from Rock Nation put me and Buju on the phone and Buju recorded the song in 15 minutes after we spoke. So before what? I knew it, 15 minutes. He was, he was actually in the studio at the microphone. So before, I, this is what I'm saying, magic. Before I knew it, I had Shabba, Buju, as per Jay's alley-oop. And next, <laughs> and next was Wayne. And Wayne came on the track and took it home. And that's how Hallelujah Heaven was born. Mm, amazing, amazing. I there's, there, there's also, James is not going to say it, but there's also like a secret verse somewhere. We're going to unearth that one day. We, we gonna, hey, yo, Jay, you, you're yo. actually the biggest, the biggest snitch these days. You may be, you may, you may, you're actually, usually you say, I got the big mouth. You say, Jay's actually snitching on all the, all the magic. 
No, because we then you, we you, know, you know, you we don't want we don't want we don't want anyone disc, you know disgruntled. Like we want to make sure no we way. tell an accurate tale. I don't I don't want to leave anyone out the tale because then it's going it won't be accurate and then you know people get disgruntled like that. You know. I yeah, 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 yeah. But but for, everyone's for very sensitive these days. You know that. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But for the record, for the record, right. we got another surprise coming for Hallelujah. Yeah. Heaven. You know what I mean? Yeah. As per as per Jay Z snitching. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Thank you, Jay-Z, for letting, letting the people know a little bit more about this. Y'all, we are loving this conversation. If you know anybody that is a is a fan of these two gentlemen or looking to learn more about the film, please share it so we can tell more people about like, you it. You know, even like Doja on it, like her performance on that was something unlike anything I, I, I've heard. Oh, man. The way I she attacks it. Yeah, the way she attacks that, you know, that music was like, Wow, this is a different, and it may not be different for her. It may, I don't know. You know, that's a question for her. It may not have felt different for her, but as a as a, a listener, you know, and someone who who's uh, consumed the music and you know love what she does, I was like, man, this feels new for her. This feels like a new space. And then I had Kodak come and you know provide his perspective, and it was like his 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 his, his um his, you can just hear his feeling. You know, more so it's than amazing. his words, the way he, the way he emotes those, the feeling, um, in those, in that, in that space was like, wow, this is, it's just powerful. Um, Absolutely. To end off his question, like it's just let the track dictate, let the music and the and the vibes dictate whatever you create it. I'm Absolutely. sorry. Much. No, but Absolutely. someone asked that. Like someone asked, how did how did the pairings come together for the soundtrack? I mean, these are again people that we have never heard together on a record james was yeah. just, like your brainchild like how did you know which voice would go together like how would you how did you know kodak and dojo would work because you just have to kind of like obey the music and let the music speak to you you know they're on a track called um jizu and as a kid my mom used to used to always say G you know my mom never curses right so she would go jizu love of my soul let thee to thy bosom fly i go what the on earth does that mean? Jesus, love of my soul, let thee to... And my dad, Nigerian, used to get upset with my mom. He'd go, Joyce, if you keep saying that, your bosoms will fly off. Stop saying that. And she'd just go, Jesus, <laughs> love of my soul, let thee to thy bosom fly off. So that was ringing in my head when I was making the joint, right? And I changed the, changed the words. I was supposed to, Jesus, love of my soul, let thee to thy bosom fly off. I was like, Jesus, protect my soul, wash my sins and make me shine. Jesus, protect my soul. So when I'm laying it down, you see Kodak, like I'm thinking, you see Kodak and you see, you know, uh, 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 Doja and you see, but, but you, you know, you don't know if, if Doja's gonna, gonna do the track and, and, and she, Doja got on the track first, right? Mm. She got on the, on the record first and she, t we spoke, I was in London, she was in, I, I can't remember where she was, but she, she mm. FaceTimed me and, and she said, I'm gonna go in on this one. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something special. There ain't gonna be sixteen bars. Uh, okay. And you all, you you guys would hear the track when in less than twenty four hours. Like she goes in, and and both both my, you know just, again just obeying obeying your your crazy. And I have good sparring partners as well. Like um, when I, when I need to contact someone or. Or who like Omar Grant at Rock Nation, who's, who's my brother, who, who um, put together the the Harder They Fall soundtrack with me as well. And that process is just so much fun. I create all this music, and then we're we're cooking, and you know, it's just, it's, just, it's all magic. You just have to let the song speak speak to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, and and I mean the way that you were able to bring people like Kid Cudi as well, and Alice Smith, yeah. and you know these. All of these, all these features are not easy to, to to get at all. But was it more like a conversation, or was it a Jay Z like call? How were you able to secure these these this group on this it's, soundtrack? It's it's conversations. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. It's conversations, and then and then calls. I remember when me and Jay was making my guns go bang, and we wanted we wanted Kid Cudi, and and Jay randomly bumped into him. Uh, uh, like in some some party or so, or somewhere, randomly, like 
yo, and then put us on the phone together and, you know, it's kind of like, if you build it, you remember Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner, Ray Liotta and James L. Jones? If you build it, they will come. Mm. You just have to, you have to, you know, you have to build it and, and, um, and, um, you know, and, and it, and it happens. 